Uh, yeah, John, fair question. I, <laughs> sadly, I usually remember the losses more than the wins unless you're cutting nets. But I, I, I do think we're – we've had stretches in all of our time back that we, we were playing good basketball. But I think defensively this group's got – they've got a little something extra because we have guys that are really, really good individual defenders. And when you put that in the context of the team, sometimes sometimes you can you can outlast people. And, and I think this team is doing that on a fairly consistent basis. But it's January fifth, so we got a ways to go. Uh, over the last year or so, I had a lot of questions about Darius and him, you know, taking it to another level and you know setting a new record. He did it again tonight, you know, passing Larry Blair on the program's all-time leading scorer at the Division One level. Yeah, he missed two free throws. Not a seven assists and zero turnovers. Like Darius McGee is, he's an All-American, and he's one of, if not the best players to ever put on a Liberty jersey. And he represents he, his family, and our program really well. So, super proud of him. I, I want honestly, it's it's hard because I want the very best for him, the very best for them because they're. Those, those dudes in there are tremendous people, and uh, they play the right way, and they conduct themselves in a way that I think is inspiring. Nothing, Chad? Do we have any uh, questions virtually? Dame, you're kind of quiet, Dame. I haven't watched them yet. Uh, well, I, that's not true. I've peeked at them. Uh, AW is a terrific coach, and uh, they play such a different brand of basketball than most anyone in the league. Uh, I, I know we'll have to we'll have to be well conditioned. Last year's game was it was an incredible game. I think we were up 20 in the first half, and they came all the way back. It was a one possession game, and if I remember correctly, Key got a great night. So yeah, we'll we'll prep. Our guys, I think that'll be four games in 11 days when we hit Sunday. So we got our tanks are a little empty. We got to get them, get them refreshed. But I do have one. Can you help us uh, after coming out so so hot, three and zero in conference play? Help us set proper expectations for playing our best ball in, in March and how important that is in the Sun and just uh, just expectations for fans and, and for for everyone watching. Yeah, a fair question, Chad. I, I'm probably not the one to answer that. I, I just think expectations are what they are. Uh, I, I think, honestly, I think what these guys are doing and what the ones that have gone before them have done, I think it's, I think it's pretty special because, man, they're giving everything they got for Liberty, and it's uh, it's fun to be a part of that journey. Um, but but we know. I just told them in the locker room, criticism and praise are very closely related. So too much of one, it will, won't, won't be good for you individually, nor for the people that you are influencing or influenced by. So I, I just think we are going to handle it with great humility and gratitude and see if we can't find the best version of ourselves tomorrow. Thanks, guys.